from the peach of the south, Atlanta, Georgia, the United States 10-Pin Bowling Federation presents a special Celebrity Team USA event. From the Brunswick Peachtree Lanes in Atlanta, Georgia, a pleasant good day, everyone. I'm Dave Armstrong, along with Team USA coach Fred Borden. Fred, this is a team event. It's the Baker format. What does that mean? Yes, this is where we have uh, five players bowling one game, two frames each. Player one will bowl frames one and frame six. Player two will bowl frames two, frame seven, so on and so forth, bowling one game, five players. Fred, we're joined by the captain of the red team, Joe Norris, a member of the 1936 Olympic squad. Joe, what's the strategy for today? Well, you know, I got here a little late, and I didn't have a chance to talk to my teammates about what we're going to do, so I just told them, Head down, fanny up, and don't think. <laughs> it should be fun then. <laughs> Mark Lewis was a member of the 1988 Olympic squad. Mark, what's your strategy for the Blue squad? Well, we're, we're out to have a good time today and enjoy the Baker format, which is an exciting format for a team play. And uh, you know, our Blue team is fired up. We're ready to go and get them. Five members, each team, each bowling, two frames. Should be fun. We'll be back with the opening match in just a moment. This special Sports Channel America program is brought to you by the National Bowling Council. Well, we're set to go. The handshakes begin. The red versus the blue. This is a special celebrity Team USA event from the Brunswick Peach Tree Lanes in Atlanta, Georgia. With Fred Borden, I'm Dave Armstrong. This should be fun. Oh, we've got a, quite a lineup here. You know, we've got 10 uh, people that are personalities that uh, are uh, champions in their own right. Uh, it's going to be exciting. Chris Fortune will be up first for the red team. Chris, the Sportsmanship Award winner for 1991. I don't know that I've ever seen anyone uh, as excited as he was when he won that award. And then the unusual style of Chris Fortune. They have the thing called the cup wrist, and then we have what we call the super cup wrist. Well, with this guy here, it's the super, super, super cup wrist. Watch <laughs> this wrist action. We don't advise too many people to try this, but this guy's really got on the spare now. He'll take the wrist out. See, he broke the wrist back to throw the ball straight. And he picks up the spare for the red. <laughs> this, this guy's a, got a nice spirit. I'll tell you, everybody just fell in love with him here this week. He was rooting for his opponents during the matches. How many times have you seen uh, people that are, that, that are in there playing to try to make the TV show and rooting for the person you're playing against? This is Lucy Giovinco. And she opens for the blue of the strike. Lucy was also the winner of the Sportsmanship Award for the females, and that's easy to understand. Lucy's a great lady, just a great lady. Here's the legend. Oh, I should say. ABC Hall of Famer Joe Norris. Look at this. 83 years young, this man. Look at him. That's what bowling over to you, ladies and gentlemen. Keep you young like this fella. Look at him. He is sharp. Oh. Physically, mentally, he's there. He's a treat, isn't he? Oh, he's fun he sure to be is. around. So that puts the pressure on this young lady, Patricia Hunt, who is an anchor for Channel 11 here in Atlanta. She said she had not bowled since college, did not want to tell us how long ago that was. She said, please have mercy on me. She didn't throw the ball bad, I'll tell no. you. She got that five-step delivery. She did a little bowling in college. You see that number there in the shirt, the 2-7. Mm -hmm. She's the second player. The 2 means she's bowling the second frame. And then she's going to come back and bowl the seventh frame. Try 
trying to pick up the spare and will not. Just let that thumb get open through a little bit of a backup ball. That's when that thumb points out to the right. Then we'll get that little reverse curve. And now Beth Harrison comes up for the red team. Beth Harrison, a true amateur, a league bowler with a 150 average. She won the sweepstakes drawing here in the Atlanta area. They had a drawing to see who was going to make the show. On the Brooklyn side, this leaves the five. Yeah. Said she had dropped bowling completely for about two years and then just recently picked it up. In the last couple of weeks, just picked it up. Watch her throw this shot now for you ladies watching. She's got excellent form. She's got a real nice style, but a little slow. One, two, three. Pick up that tempo a little bit. She could raise her average 25 pence. It's a little deliberate, a little slow. See, and then the ball got heavy for her. And into little, the channel. A little bit faster. She'd have swung it right on through. Just a little slow. Her so an open frame for the red in the third. And we'll be back with more of this special Celebrity Team USA event from the Peachtree Lanes in a moment. Blue team up, Roger Hensley, the sweepstakes winner for the blue team, but he averages near 200. Good bowler, watch him warming up. He's got good accuracy. Ooh, but leaves the split, the 5-7. That'll yeah. test an amateur. Yeah, he was real nervous. That boy, I don't know how these people <laughs> bowl that well on television. He said, how do people do this for a living? You, but you get acclimated to it. Let's see if he can make this. This be a Let's see if he could make this. And then maybe we'll, he'll get loosened up and start throwing if he slides this across. Hey, nice ability almost. Yeah, good effort. And Kim Terrell, a former team member of Team USA and also a professional bowler now on the ladies' tour. Won back to back titles on the ladies' tour. She's just a, a, a beautiful bowler and a, a beautiful player. We have a 13-pin difference here in the match between the red and the blue. Watch this shot. A little high. A little soft. I think she's been a while since she got up the throw. And they're having a little fun today. You know, this mm -hmm. isn't the intensity. Not that they aren't trying, however. You know, she's bowling for Joe Norris. If you don't try, you're on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's already up looking at the score. He's a delight to be around. One of the greatest team coaches in the history of our sport. You know, he was truly in bowling when team bowling was at its its, its heydays. Oh, we got a little fortunate there, did Kim Terrell. And Joe Norris applauding the effort. Him. He's up off the bench and put his hand out. Just, just great stuff. Now yeah. Mark Lewis, the Olympian from 88. Mark's a nice player. Mark's a very dedicated to the sport. This guy's got a real nice straight arm swing. He hits his target good. Gets through the ball real good. Watch him get through. All the way through. Pow. Ooh. Flipped over a little on him. <laughs> <laughs> Is he giving Joe this? Right. Here he is. Watch this Olympic form. Watch this. Watch this move out. Push that ball out and down. Swings it up. Full swing. See how he stretched out? That's that professional swing right through. Look at that. He could go on the tour anytime he wants. But he's in the food business and also very involved in, in Wichita there. And he just doesn't need to go out on that tour and live in the suitcase. Played for Gordon Vatican at Wichita State. <laughs> Most yeah. fair for the blue. We want to say hello to Gordon out there at uh, Wichita. You know, uh, he's one of our coaches with Team USA. Mm -hmm. What a what a good man he is. He adds that uh, flavor to our, our coaching staff of being very easy going, very soft. If things get a little rattled, just go to Gordon. He'll calm everybody down. Julie Gardner up for the red. A national amateur champion, the only person to ever win it two years in a row. That's, you can see why. She just threw it right in there again for fun. For real, not for real, for practice, this gal just knows how to strike. Just wind her up and she throws strikes. So Paul Fleming now up for the blue team, the 1991 Team USA National Amateur Champion. And he gets a strike. Right. National Amateur Champions are Anson. Look how fun this is. We got five frames in. We watch 10 different people bowl here, and we have a half a game in. It's fast action. I like this. So now Chris Fortune will come up for the red. 
This is one six, and now he bowled the first frame, so that was the first frame, the one, and now he's bowling the sixth frame for the six. Look at this wrist. Look at this action here. Is he going to twist it up? Watch this. Twirl on that thing. Look at it turn back to the pocket. Whoa. Mm. See, this guy can bowl. This guy can bowl. He, uh, I watched him all week long, and uh, he had a shot at making a team. You know, mm -hmm. he was right there. I'll tell you what, he can bowl. And then he can kill it and throw it real straight. He can throw as much hook as he wants to. He can throw as straight as he wants to. He's very versatile. Giovinco up, blue team trailing by 23. Wings with 310. A little bit of a late thumb. We call it the dirty thumb. And usually that'll happen when you push the ball out too far and you get late into your backswing. If you're late timing, you'll hang on the thumb. Hmm. Early timing, now if you reverse that, if you got it in real quick, you'll drop the ball. So if you're dropping the ball, you have early time. You're hanging up in the ball, you have late timing. What a nice conversion. Wow. Lucy Giovinco. Come on, this is supposed to be a fun match. What are they doing down here? This yeah, is right. <laughs> well, that was fun for her. This is serious. Yes, it was. <laughs> Look at this. They just drilled this ball up for this man. He's 83 years old. Get this stat. If you bowled for 50 years, 50 years, and average 220, you could not knock as many pins down as this man has at the American Bowling Congress. And what was that again? 50 years of bowling at 2,000 pins a year. You can't knock down as many pins as he has. Look That's at this amazing. form. 83 years old. Look at the agility in this man's body. Look at this. This guy's a true legend in our sport. 83. Look at that pose at that following. Playing on that left leg. Tell you what, I'm gonna, I want to watch him do it when he's 100. He's phenomenal. Look at that spare. Oh, yeah. Right there. <laughs> he doesn't want to shake the hand of the blue team. Oh, no. He's, he'll give him the stare down. He'll pull all the tricks. The approaches are sticky. You know, he, he comes from that. Oh, oh, look at him. He's an entertainer. Oh, God, yes. You know, those old guys, uh, they are. They had to be back then. Yes. You know, we go across the country and, and bowl exhibition match. I just got the tail end of that. I'm sorry I missed that team play. We need it back in our sport. I'll tell you, I had more fun. <laughs> Patricia says, well, let me do that again. It <laughs> didn't feel right. That was a Bach, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the pins get to go to second. But she didn't release the ball, so she didn't foul in the act of releasing the ball. Now she gets a second try. One, two, three, get four, strike. five. Get a There's, the, there's the walk. Get Look a at strike. This. Hmm. She kept it on the lane. I think that she's feeling pretty good. She keeps it out of those two big Absolutely. gray boards on the sides. She seems to be enjoying herself. This has got to be a nerve-wracking experience <laughs> to come out. You haven't bowled for years, and she said she went out and practiced last night, getting ready for this. She's a pleasant lady, I know that. I had the opportunity to talk with her a little bit, see if she wanted any lessons, and she didn't look like she needed much lessons. Look at this. Make that spare. Oh, almost. All right, excellent effort. Excellent effort. And she got a beautiful smile. We'll come back, the red team in the lead here in the first match of this special Celebrity Team USA event. Red team up, leading by 38. Now bowling in the eighth frame, Beth Harrison to bowl. Uh-oh. Beth just a little nervous here today. I'll tell you, league play will seem to her like, boy, there's, there's no, no pressure at all. You know, when you go out in your league play and you're mm -hmm. getting all keyed up, well, all of a sudden she'll go out in league play and she'll improve her, her score. Uh, immensely just because of this experience here today. Keep that hand behind it now. Keep that hand right behind and come through. See, she's spinning around the ball. All right. All right. Well, that's all right, Joe's saying that's all right. We're still in the lead. And you know, this bowling, nothing to it, Dave. There's nothing to this game. You just walk up there, you know, mm. these strikes are. Huh? Mm, yeah, right, <laughs> right. They say which is tougher, bowling or golf. Well, I'm the best in the world is the best in the world. You know, Absolutely. that argument comes up all the time, I'll tell you. Roger Hensley now up. A chance for the blue team to play a little catch up. 
Hensley almost made the 5 7 split when he bowled in the third. You can notice uh, just that squeezing the ball a little bit. The thumb's not coming out. Now, I watched him in practice. He's getting the thumb out a little cleaner. When you lose your hook, it's because the thumb's not coming out. Get the thumb out so the fingers can. There, you got this thumb out better. Look at the rotation. And the spare. Kim Terrell now to bowl for the red. Coming up in the foundation, the ninth frame. With this the Reds lead dwindling to eight. This young lady's an athlete, I'll tell you that. She trains hard, she works hard. She's a world champion. Good a shot. Come on. Yep. Big shot for Kim Terrell. The power, she threw six pins the left side at that seven pin and mm -hmm. did it and made it look like she wasn't even hardly moving. That's coordination. That's that fluid coordination. That's the same look when you see the good golfer it hits at 275 yards and they look like they're swinging very hard. Timing and coordination and loose free motion. Mm -hmm. Mark Lewis answers. That's that Fred Couple swing you're talking about in golf where it looks so easy and yet he hits at 300 yards. Yes. Kim does that in bowling. Just watch her when she mm -hmm. throws that shot. Fred? Mark uh, threw that shot there and, and swung all the way through. And just, did you see the pins? Just, they were silhouetted around the ball. I love those kind of strikes where there's the ball and the pins are silhouetted around right as they're up in the air. Gardner opens the door for Paul Fleming. Well, Paul's very capable, as we all know, of being the national amateur champion to uh, come up here in a tenth and. Uh, Let's bring this thing right back to view here. I think we have a match on our hands. Well, we sure do. Joe will be uh, watching down there. He'll get fired up here in a minute. And he'll be jumping up and down. He'll be the he'll be the <laughs> the captain. He'll be the player that will come through and throw a couple strikes. Watch what I say. And he'll be the cheerleader. And he'll also be the policeman out there. He'll be directing. Hey, move to the right. Move to the left. He'll be making the adjustments with his players. He is uh, something. Solid. Great shot. Gardner closes things out for the red team, and they finish with a 165. A strike here by Paul Fleming would put the blue in the driver's seat. Oh, and they lead to the 10. Look at Joe. <laughs> he's, he's, he says, we got it. He's, he's got his shirt drawn. He's talking to the audience. Oh, boy. Is he fun? See, we have to look forward to, Dave. He's 83. Mm. I think he's 23. Then Absolutely. I think you win a lot of money at the fair on those guess your age deals. Oh, boy. Yeah. Probably in a few foot races, too, against any other 83-year-olds that want a foot race out there. So the red team will win game one of three. Well, they finished with 165. The best the blue can do now is 157. You got a close match. Good close match. The red defeats the blue in game one, 165 to 157. We'll come back with game two of our special Celebrity Team USA event from the Brunswick Peachtree Lanes in Atlanta, Georgia, in just a moment.
Welcome back to Peachtree Lanes in Atlanta, Georgia with Fred Borden. I'm Dave Armstrong. The red team defeating the blue in game one of our special celebrity Team USA event, 165 to 157. Lucy Giovinco will start things off for the blue in the first frame in the second game. Tampa Hall of Famer. Watch this shot. I've seen her throw him harder. I've seen Lucy just wind him up, boy. When you know they get late, late at night when the lanes get dry, mm. this young lady can just wind him up and throw him down there and just start striking. You got to look out because she can really get playing. Those lanes get a little bit dry. She move over to the left. She'll throw it hard on the spare, and she'll take it all off. Just throw a line shot right at it. An opening spare for the blue team. And now Chris Fortune. Chris, Mr. Wrist, mm -hmm. I think we should call this man. Mr. Wrist. He's got that real long hand, though. You know, a person who has a real long hand can wrap around the ball much easier. Real short, stubby hand person couldn't do this. Their cartilage and tendons in their wrist, they get some tendonitis. So This should come with a disclaimer. Friends, do not try this at home. <laughs> That's right. You're right. <laughs> and you know, the ones that are doing this, if, if for anybody out there that would like to try it, get yourself here. Let's... Watch this wrist. We're going to bring him up here. Look at this wrist. He turns it over. He cups it. Look at the muscles in his arm. Look at this. No backswing. He's got it all cupped up. It's underneath. Now he'll just shovel it out. It's called the shovel shot. Watch the wrist action. Pop that wrist as he comes up and just hits it. His hands up behind his head. And Patricia Hunt with the straight ball. A little backup action, but she comes up with a good pin count of seven. She's done real good. Mm -hmm. I think we may have just converted. We've got a new league bowler. I think she's having fun out here. Well, if you can't have fun bowling, you can't have fun. Absolutely. You're right. You know, I always say, you know, where else do you go where you see a grandmother and a grandfather, a mother and a father, and three children? I've never seen a seventh of them on the golf course. That's right. You can come into these bowling centers and see these families, and they're having a great time. Mm -hmm. The wonderful thing about bowling, like golf, there's the handicap system, so everybody can compete against everyone else. Correct. And you can bowl in tournaments, city tournaments, state tournaments, national mm -hmm. tournaments. And the trips are fun. You know, you get everybody packed oh, in the yeah. car and pack it up, and boy, the stories you have. Mm -hmm. Here comes Joe Norris. 83 years old. Pow. There Look it is. Shot. Just right in right here. Wow. <laughs> he stared that 10 down, huh? Hope enough time to look at this. Look at Joe. Look at this. 83 years old. Look at him run this thing out. He's running it out. Look at the eyes. Look at him. Look at this. Yes. Look at it. Ooh. What? That thing's yeah. going to stand on yeah. me? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's worth the price of admission right there. And Roger Hensley, the league bowler, comes up with a strike for the blue. And he got his thumb out clean. He puts a nice roll on it. I'm impressed with this guy's ball roll. He rolls it good. He gets that thumb out clean. Joe Norris saying, all right, there's one league bowler. He did it. Now, Beth Harrison, you go up and do it for us. And you see Joe. He was there giving a little encouragement. Hope I have time to tell this story about Joe. You know, he had a team. He had, they had white linen uniforms, and he'd give each one of the players three uniforms, these white uniforms. After There's a couple a of weeks, oh. got nine. These uniforms look soiled, so he said, well, just a minute. Give me those uniforms back. Here, we'll, we'll get back to that story in a second. Watch this. One, two, three. Four. Now she got through that one a little straighter. Now she flipped it real late that time, so that she, the, the flip didn't come into play because she waited long enough before she flipped her hand. Going for the spare yeah. on the five pin. I All think right. she's... No, it curved away. <laughs> now the red team still leads the blue, though, here in game number two of our special celebrity Team USA event. Look at Joe Norris, the legend from 1936, the U.S. Olympic team. And, you know, I'm telling a story about the, the, the uniforms. He collects the uniforms every week from these players. Three mm -hmm. uniforms, each player, six players, 18 uniforms. For 16 years, this man had those uniforms cleaned and would pass them out the night they bowled and then take them back for 16 years. My goodness. Isn't that unbelievable? That really is. 
You don't do that with Team USA, do you? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I should, though. These great players, we should, we should do everything we can, and we try to do everything we can for them. Mark Lewis with a big strike for the blue. They've doubled now in frames three and four. This is a tight match. Kim Terrell, the ladies professional bowler, crossing over. A little bit slow, a little bit soft. Ball hooked early. Kim went right out on that tour and came out of the Team USA program, went right out on the tour and became Rookie of the Year. Mm -hmm. Right prior to that, Jackie Sellers came out of the Team USA program, went right out and became Rookie of the Year. Says a lot for you in the program. Last year, Michelle Mullen went right out and became Rookie of the Year. Mm. Who will come out this year? Well, I don't know if anybody's coming out this year. I think they like the program so well they're staying. Yeah. <laughs> It all those trips to Singapore and all over the world. And that was Debbie McMullen that went out and became uh, player of the year. Three in a row for the blue, yes. The blue have strung together three strikes in a row to take the lead. This young man's impressive, isn't he? He just walks up there nonchalantly, rolls it in the pocket, gets those strikes, and just does it without much fanfare. He doesn't look like his adrenaline gets running away with him at all, does he? Gardner hits it hard on the head pin. A little early turn on that shot. She got, right, she got there and turned her thumb in early. When you turn your thumb before the foul line, you're going to feed the ball left through the nose. Got to keep the thumb out toward the right wall. At the bottom of the swing, when your hand is right by your heel, drop the thumb out and then rotate the fingers. Don't rotate while the thumb's in the ball. If you're teaching someone, Fred, what's the main thing you want them to do? Consistency? Yes. And, and number one is get the timing. That's what makes consistency. Number one is timing. There's three major keys to becoming a good player. Number one, timing. Mm -hmm. Number two, develop a grooved swing and then get a consistent release. You can do those three things, you can average 180. Lucy Giovinco, four in a row. Yes, four in a row for the blue. Watch this timing right here. Watch this motion. Look at that right foot go. There's a ball out on one, two. That left foot comes forward. There's a ball right by the calf. Three, it goes up, up over that head, that full swing. Now watch this left foot, and here comes the ball. The foot plants right here, and the thumb drops out and rotates right through with a follow-through, complete swing. Chris Fortune tries to answer for the red and does. Fortune has gotten three strikes out of four rolls. That's a, the roto-rooter shot, huh? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that thing turn over? And everybody's asking, how do you do that? And you do that with them big, long forearms and that big hand that can wrap around that bowling ball. And now the anchor. And I mean that in the sense of a t television anchor, not the anchor of this team. <laughs> yes, that's uh, Patricia Hunt trying for five in a row for the blue team. You can bring the house down right there. Ooh, she will Gets bring it. Get some pin count. No. Oh, all right. That's all right. You know, do you think the anchor people maybe will respect our sport a little bit if we get more people to do this, come out, Absolutely. Dave, get you guys uh, out here throwing that bowling ball a little bit and say, wow, these bowlers and Maybe they are athletes, huh? Absolutely. Get these 16-pound balls going down the lane, trying to hit a three-inch area from 60 foot and pop your thumb out of it and make it rotate and knock those pins around and do it for eight hours in one day. Now a three count for Patricia Hunt. That slows the blue team, but they still have the lead. Joe Norris with a strike. That's two in a row for Joe Norris. And the red team trying to bounce back with two in a row themselves. The red team is now leading the blue, 165 to 157 through seven. We'll be back in just a moment.
Roger Hensley now up for the blue team coming up in the eighth frame. He had a strike his last time up. Bowl in the third frame, then he's up bowl in the eighth frame. Well, I really like this Baker system. Dude. I this, do is, this is fast action. Get a lot of people involved. You know, the WIBC will be testing uh, modified formats such as the Baker system this season. They're going to see if they can become a part uh, of the sanctioned league play. There's way more people can get out and enjoy bowling uh, with this Baker system. So mm -hmm. I think it would be a nice, uh, fresh addition to our sport. I do, too. It's really a lot of fun. The bowlers really are enjoying themselves. Less pressure on every bowler. Right. And true team unity and fast action. And mm -hmm. I think that's what people look for today. So Hensley with a strike and a spare in this game. And now Beth Harrison to bowl for the red. The red team with two strikes. She made a spare last frame. Let's see if she can throw that shot in that pocket again this time. Hey, getting better here. Look at whoop, whoop. it turned over. And the turnover. Still got a good pin count. Got five out of it. So it was a little slow. So when that hook turned, it took over and went about seven boards left real quick because of slow ball speed. Mm. You need to keep velocity to have accuracy. This is not a difficult spare right here. People say, well, how do you make this spare? Well, the key is don't leave it. Because this one is very difficult. Look here, she's gonna make this darn thing. Oh, she did! Great job. The shot of the day! Him, huh? <laughs> Joe Morris is getting his hugs in. Uh -huh. Wow. Did you see him pick that girl up off her feet? Look at this. Watch this shot. She's got that ball out there. Look at it start to turn now. Going slow, flips on over, rolls right into the pocket. Perfect. Huh? Unbelievable. That's great. That's what bowling's all about. When you make a few shots like that, boy, can you have some fun with this sport. Mm -hmm. Mark Lewis up in the ninth. Another strike for Lewis. <laughs> oh, he, he wants, wants to... Norris to hug him. <laughs> 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 Norris said, I'm not picking you up. No. Harrison was one thing, but not you. He might be able to. I'll, I'll bet you if he wanted to. <laughs> I wonder if this 49 here, that's the San Francisco 49ers for this California. Huh? Mm -hmm. She's bowling the ninth frame now. She bowled the fourth frame earlier. Marked it out. Now here it comes. Turn it back. Kim's been on the road a lot lately, and she's had an injury in her left hip. Uh, she's seen three different physicians, I understand. Uh, she hasn't been able to practice. Feeling better now, though. She's back, and she's starting to practice. She hopes it was just a strain in the left hip area, but she's still a little tender. She's afraid to just get up there and plant and really rip through it. But uh, this young lady's going to win a lot of titles in her career, I'll tell you. She can really play the game. Mm -hmm. Back in, oh, a miss for Kim Terrell, a rare miss for her. And she doesn't even want to look at Joe Norris right now. Yeah. I'm sorry, coach. So Eddie will say, well, you know what? You was trying to throw a big hook. You know, in the old days, if you threw a big hook, they put you on the bench. Because mm. if you missed a spare, you couldn't bowl for Joe Norris. You made your spares. And if you missed uh, one spare in a night, uh, that was m one too many. Oh, big shot by Paul Fleming. That's going to give the blue team the lead. You notice Paul's uh, a bright young player. It's just amazing me now. He's moved left. He's moved left as he's bowled more and more in this lane. It dries out a little bit, and he's playing farther in now. He just made a, a move in where no one's throwing many shots. He's in around that third arrow now, even a little left of the third arrow. Oh, that was solid. Isn't that clean? Mm, boy. Look at the fun we're going to have with <laughs> Team USA. Oh, huh? I should say. I'd like to coach that team. Oh, I hear you, buddy. Yeah. yeah. You're really lucky. And they're lucky to have you. Well, thank you. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate that kind comment. Every bowler that I talked to on Team USA, every one of them, to a man and woman, said, the thing I look forward to most is being under the tutelage of Fred Burton. Well, you know, over the years, we've learned from guys like Joe Norris sitting, talking, and Don yeah. Johnson's, and the Palmer yes. Falgren's, and all the great uh, players in our sport. So the things we pass on are things that I've learned from other world champions, and uh, I just have the opportunity to pass it on. Well, we've got a real match on our hands now. The blue team wins game two. They have 200. The best the red can do is a 195. Wow. So we're going to have to have a rubber game for this match. There we go. I'll tell you, you think Joe won't be fired up this game? This isn't just an exhibition to him. 
Oh no no he he wants to win. I'll tell you what if he's gonna if he's gonna bowl his mom his wife uh, his children whatever he's out there to play the game. This guy loves this game so much. I'll tell you. Everything but the nine. Right there. This is this game is real close. This match is real close. Yes. So it could get it could get, become a lot of fun. Joe's love will be picking him up and throwing him up here at, at the closing of, of this match. He'll be picking these people up and hugging them and charging them up here every frame. He'll be prodding them on every shot. Red team closes out with this pair with the 185, but 200 for the blue team. So we're all even one game apiece in this special Celebrity Team USA event. We'll be back with the rubber game of the match in just a moment. You see the team totals through two games, but the blue team comes back to win game two. Welcome back to the Peachtree Lanes in Atlanta, Georgia. A special Celebrity Team USA event. The red team winning game one, 165 to 157. The blue coming back in game two, 200 to 185. And now the red up for the rubber game of the match. Chris Fortune to start things off for the red. Mr. Wrist, or there it is, the shovel wrist shot. Watch this thing flip over. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Are six, you, seven, ten. I think if he was bowling for Joe a lot of years, you know, pretty soon you'd see him over to the right. And he'd take that wrist out a little bit and he'd throw it in that pocket a little bit straighter. But this guy can control this hook. Now watch him here. He's going to take the wrist out. He's moving over to the left. <laughs> Joe just Joe's says got him. <laughs> Same, please, Joe. <laughs> Kim, look at Kim. <laughs> Kim. Now we got to throw the straight, polished ball. Slide it across the lane. Look how straight he throws it. Now look here. Look here. Oh! Huh? This guy unbelievable. Isn't that great? Look at hey, this shot. They hug him. He changes his wrist. He changes his hand. He moves over to the left and puts the accuracy on it after that big hook. Now that's playing. That's playing the game. Look at this. From 60 foot away, you have to hit that pin within an eighth of an inch to slide it across there. And look, look at, at Norris in the background. Look at Joe. Look here. Look at him pointing up, taunting him. Look here. Shaking. Look at the audience. That's great stuff. That's great stuff. Giovinco up for the blue in the first. <laughs> that was really some shot. Yeah. Get them on their feet. You can see Fortune in the background shaking his head saying, I can't believe I made that on TV. Unreal. Terrific stuff. This young lady's been in the top 10 amateur players in the United States for 15 consecutive years. And on Team USA for 92. Oh, yeah. We're just so happy to have her. She's, a, she's just a fine lady. She's a, she's a heck of an athlete. She stays in shape. She runs. She watches her diet. She bowls 60, 70, 80 games a week practice. Uh, she's, she's for real. Joe Norris now. Two strikes in game number two. This one a little low. Leaves the one, two. Did you hear what he said? Yeah. yeah. He says, I keep watching you. He says, nutball hooks, and I try to do the same thing. <laughs> well, what do they say about not being able to teach an old dog new tricks? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come back off of there. Ooh. Well, he'll, he'll whip himself now. He, he'll, he's in your fault. He told fault. Mark Lewis, yeah. Well, there's two great players. This Mark Lewis can play the mm -hmm. game, too. I'll tell you, I'd love to play team play with Mark Lewis. He's one of the best lane readers I've ever met in my life. He can read those lanes, scope them out whether he should move to the right or to the left. Hey, a good pin count for Patricia Hunt.
Patricia looks pretty serious here. She, they've got her into this thing a little. Mm -hmm. Look at the little different look in her face. <laughs> She's blinking her eyes and let me make this thing, please. please one Come time. On. Yes, yes, one time for these bowlers. Big push away. That Ooh. was some concentration there. Yeah, it was. She was, she was intense. <laughs> She's smiling. Yeah, good attitude. Oh, yeah. And the red now leads the blue by three through two. Beth Harrison will now bowl for the red team. Harrison from right here in Atlanta, Georgia. Here we are, 22 pins into the match, and there's only four pins difference with all these shots that are being thrown by all these different people. Oh, good shot. Don't hook too much. Nah, a little slow, so it takes off. Sends it. She's got eight pins. She's saying, hey, I like that pin count. Yeah. Now it just has to pick up the one three. She could be a good bowler, this gal. Just needs to pick up that tempo a little bit, be a little more aggressive to the foul line, like a fast dance, but smooth. Hmm. Slow is not what we're thinking. Smooth is the word. Keep it smooth, fluid, and powerful. A little flip on that one. See if it'll hook back. Come it on does. back. Hook up. All, All right. right. Two spares Very in nice. a row for Beth Harrison. You know what's nice, too? The bowling's a lifetime game. You can play it for the rest of your life. You know, here's a man, 83 years old. There's people down there that are just barely 20 years old, 21 years old. There's 60 years difference in ages, and they're down there enjoying the sport, competing against each other. And all the youth leagues out there, and starting them off so young. Oh. Tough split there for Roger Hensley. The in-school program with YABA is a tremendous program. Thanks to YABA, to yes. the American Bowling Congress, to the Women's International Bowling Congress. You know, bowling has just grown into such a great sport for people all across our, our state, our nation, and people all over the world now are, are, are getting into bowling. Hensley doing the smart thing, going for the higher pin count, the 4 7. And that brings up Kim Terrell. Okay, Kim, pick up the speed a little bit here. A little bit soft, a little bit tender in that left hip, but let's go ahead and let it rip one shot. Yeah, there we go. There we go. A little better. Turned over a little bit high. 6-10 remains. She'll move far left now. She'll take her wrist out a little bit. She'll throw the ball a little harder, a little flatter, and straighter. Not as much hand turn. Thumb up. Put the ball more on line for accuracy. You don't need revolutions and hook. All you do is touch it with the ball. Should flatten it out a little. Nice fair. Yes. You notice that ball didn't snap hard. It just had a little soft arc to it. And Mark Lewis steps up for the blue. Lewis has struck his last two times up. Is that on that uh, 1988 Olympic suit? Did you see that thing with the yeah, jacket before nice. he took it off? Isn't that beautiful? It's got the rings on its white silk. in the zone. Well, it looks like we need to get him back on the team. You see him snap that 10 out. He just batted that thing out. Mm. The national amateur champion, two years in a row, the only person in the history of our sport to achieve such an accomplishment. All the way through. Hold it. Just a little bit. Solid four. Got a good match brewing here. The red on top now, but only leading by 12. Just a mark away. A little open and a double, and all of a sudden, yep. it can flip around in our sport so quickly, too. And, you Especially know, in this format. Oh, boy. Real fast. People get 30 down a lot of times and give up. And, you know, we got to urge them. You know, you get 30 down, and the player th throws an open, and you throw a couple strikes, and all of a sudden, that 30 is nothing. It happens right. very quickly. Right. Now, if you're in team play, and you've got five players, and, and, and your team gets hot and the other team gets cold, 40, 60, 80, 100 pins is not very many pins. Paul Fleming throws it right through. Just 10 in the pit again, huh? Just yeah, 10, just, just routine. Yeah. How many you need? You need a strike? Okay, you got it. Yeah, wind <laughs> Coach, me up. Yep, yeah, wind me up. You got Mr. Wrist up here on 28. Isn't this amazing? Look at him, setting them fingers on the ball. He's got a rubber glove on underneath the gray glove. Lays it over on the forearm. 
and twirls it up, shovels it out, hits up on it. Watch this thing snap. Well, he got one more out of it. You hear the, the, the people in the background. That was Joe again. He was the first one to jump up and say, all right. It's much easier <laughs> to make a one-pin spare than it is a two-pin spare, obviously. Ooh, and just barely nicks that six pin. And it was reminiscent of his uh, split conversion. Maybe a little flashback there. We yeah. make it again, huh? Right. Giovinco now with a chance for the blue team to make a big move. She comes up with two strikes in a row for the blue team, trying to make it three. Number 16 there. She bowled the first frame. Now she's bowling the sixth. Number 16. There it is. What's it rip? Ooh. Big break for the blue. So did the bulldozed them out of there, didn't it? Here he comes. Very special man, I'll tell you. I just love being around this guy. Mm -hmm. Well, the red team now finds themselves behind by 10. The twirly put on that. Oh, oh. He, he amped it up a notch. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'd love to have him on my team. <laughs> I'll tell you. You might look at him at Team USA. Huh? Wouldn't that be great? Senior Team USA. Yes. He can be the captain. That's right. The legends. Well, they have the legends of uh, golf. You know, now we're having the legends in the PBA and uh, bowling or the mm -hmm. super seniors with yes. Dick Weber and a few of them. So. Right. Hunt with seven. She's had about seven about every time. Yeah. Good pin count. She could be a player. Get her out of that newsroom a little bit and get her out here practicing a couple times yeah. a week. Her news director might not want to hear you say that. Yeah, I hear They you. love to have yeah. them in there all the time working. Get those facts. Get those facts That's straight. Right. Yeah. Check. See how she pushed that ball way up in the air. She's going to get that big swing, got a little out of time. I'll tell you what, though, she's got some uh, intensity, that lady. Mm -hmm. she, she could be real good with a little bit of help and a little bit of time and effort. It's a soft roll, let it hook. See there, the ball just didn't have enough power, and it just hit the pins and bounced off. Mm -hmm. That's weight of ball and velocity. Give you an idea of a ball, say 14 pound ball going 20, it'd be 14 times 20 is 280. Watch the ball move. Yeah, watch it bounce off. It'll just bounce right off. It's going slow, so just watch it bounce to the right. Yeah. Just Normally bounce. the ball takes out the five. Yes, and if it was going harder, then it'd just knock the pins out of the way and stay more on line. So 14 times 20 equals 280. Now, if you took a 10 pound ball, and threw it 30 miles an hour to be 10 times 30 equals 300. Hmm. So you could actually make a lighter ball hit harder than a heavier ball if you throw it harder. Hmm. You want to throw a little lighter ball for you ladies and throw it down there. Don't be afraid to throw it down to the little velocity. The ball's going to turn over. And a big strike for Roger Hensley in the eighth. Watch the weight marks on the ball when they let it go. You can read the revolutions. You can see if the thumb come out. That's what a coach looks at when you watch the person. The movement's so quick. What you do is watch the revolutions of the ball, and that gives you the feedback to see whether the thumb come out of the ball clean or not. Terrell trying to set things up in the ninth. There's Big ball by Kim. The Kim we know and love. She is a true professional lady, I'll tell you. And Mark Lewis now up for the blue. If both teams strike out from here, the blue would win. Awful close match. By the hook. Ooh. Right again. Mark Lewis has been tough. He strikes his last four times up. He is tough. There's just, this guy's a heck of a competitor. He's very knowledgeable. He's very well schooled. He and Gordon Vatican's work very hard on helping each other learn this sport. The physical game, the bowling ball, reading the lane, the mental game, breaking it down and understanding our sport. 
Julie Gardner. Oh, leaves the seven. Oh, the dreaded solid seven. Mm. Boy, when you throw a shot like that in the pocket and you get that solid seven pins, that's where the mental game really comes oh, into it. You've just got to. Especially when it comes breath. in the tenth frame. Huh? Oh, boy. Yeah. Not any room to make up for it when it comes in the tenth. For the young players out there, they'll look at her. She's not rattled. She's going to go right back at him. She just, she knows. You have to be persistent. You cannot let those things bother you mm -hmm. and be successful. You can be successful in life letting things bother you and in, in bowling and the golf game. And anything. You have to keep control of the mental game. A 168 for the red. Added to their previous score gives them a score of 518. Is that right, Joseph? Our, our scorekeeper today, Joe Natoli. Joe, thank you for an excellent job. Absolutely. And Bill McFarlane out in the truck. We want to thank Bill for an excellent job here today because this Baker system's a little new to the audience, a little new to us, but boy, is it fun. We, we've been having fun with it for a few days now, testing it and working with it. Ed Bauer, our producer, Kent Dahl, our director. We just thank these guys for the wonderful job they've done. Kent Samuel. Kent Samuel has been just absolutely terrific for us in the truck all week long. And that will sew it up for the blue team. They can finish with a possible 182. Even if he throws this one in the channel, it's a 172 for the blue. Along with their 357 they had prior to. And a 182. Nice comeback by the Blue after losing game one. They win games two and three and win our special celebrity Team USA event. Congratulations to the Blue team winning over the Red by 39 to 518.